I do some African engineering real quick. <laughs> you know how that go. Uh-huh. Yeah, who don't? Oh, I'm trying to turn the volume up on the speaker. The knob, the knob is missing. Oh my god! Yeah, I was saying African engineer. Oh, you're right. You're right. I ain't know it was on that level, but you're right. Yeah, African engineer. That's what we're doing. All right, now I think we're good. Um, so we ready? Yeah, I think I'm think I'm ready. I I know it's kind of upside. Well, I'm looking to the side, so uh, but I'm ready. Okay. okay, it looks all right from here. All right. Yeah, all I can't. Right. So, uh, I can't access uh, my um soundboard, so. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it'd be. Yeah, so. Are right, we ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, for recording purposes. And welcome to Try Hip Hop Podcast. Uh, this is your boy Howie, my man Curtis in the building. Kurt Dog, he doing his thing. Let's give it up for Curtis, man. We appreciate him being here. We'll add the clap track you. later. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. How you been, I'm sir? Um, everything is uh, a lot better, you know. Um, you know, I, I don't have anything to hide. You know, I'll go ahead and just say it. You know, I got uh caught out there with the row row. You know, with the vid. The vid. And, uh, unfortunately everybody in the house got it too. So Dang. you know it uh it hit me on New Year's Day out of nowhere. Um she got it first and uh she got it like maybe two days before I did. Yeah. And so you know, I was doing good. I'm like, okay, well I guess she, you know. But uh, just being in the same house with her, I guess I wound up getting it from her. And then the youngest got it. You know, the the, the, the oldest uh, been out of town uh, for, because she's on break from school. So she lucky. But uh, everybody else, we all got it. And uh, I'm in the final stages. I think I'm finally getting better. You know, I, yeah. I a lot of energy, but things are getting better. You know, my job. Uh, did give me some time off to recuperate, so you know that's gonna help out a lot, man. So, how was your week? Uh, it was all right. We um, it's been kind of crazy. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's like um, Brittany with her stuff that she's going through. Um, with that, um, you know, going back to school next week, and um. Yeah, we we were just hella busy at work. We're trying to get stuff out. But other than that, that's about it. Okay, okay. I certainly yeah. understand, man. It's a hey, just be careful out here, man, because this shit is spreading like wildfire. Dude, man, it's like like I said, man, like Jada in the garden, boy. Everybody can get it. <laughs> Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was like, yeah, yeah I was, fuck that. I was, uh, I was contacting a lot of my family and friends, and a lot of them was like, oh, yeah, we got it, too. I'm like, shit, man, what the fuck? Yes. Getting it. I mean, it's crazy, man. Something got to be going on, man, because, yeah, I mean, people were getting it, but, like, and I'm not saying that people that were close to you didn't get it. But it was right. mostly people that was like, you know, they were pretty much on their way anyway. Like they had yeah. other underlying health issues and stuff. And um, like yeah, now it's just like, man, like damn, everybody you know is like, it's like, yeah, tag you with, nigga. like tag you right. with, like right. damn, man. yeah, some something crazy going on, man. I hear you, man. Well, this is uh. This is episode 190, right? 190. Yes, 10 sir. away. We 10 away, man. 200. We're going to do something. We're going to do something at the extravaganza and stuff. But shoot, man, with that episode 200, I don't know. I would love to get some Chinese, I mean, you know, some midgets and stuff. Up. Well, little people can't say midgets no more. I like right. to get some little people up in there, but man, nah. The way things going now. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. But um, 
You know what? Also, this year, 2022, will be uh, our fifth year at the show. So oh, that facts. would be dope. I don't know yeah. what's going to hit first. You know, I don't know if we're going to hit the 200 first or the five-year mark. But um, I know we started the show, like, in the end of May, uh, back May. in 2017. Yep. Um, a little before Prodigy died. Rest in peace. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. So, yeah, you know, man. This is, we're going to have to make this a big year. Big year. Fact. So, um. I guess we ought to jump into some stuff. You know, I yeah, know let's go about. ahead and do that. I was trying to uh, pull up some stuff real quick myself, so go ahead and okay. talk to the people. All right, so uh, I know we've lost a few people. Um, if I forget anybody, Howie, let me know, because I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but I want to send uh, rest in peace out to Jesse D and the four SMDs, yeah. um, Max Julian, who uh, played Goldie in the movie The Mac, yeah, and uh, Sidney Poitier, you know, yeah. who was a staple, staple in hip hop. I'm not hip hop, uh, black culture in general. Um, I mean, he opened so many doors, man, for uh, Facts. black actors and black people in general, man. I mean, he commanded respect. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I if it weren't for man. if it weren't for Sidney Poitier, man, that definitely would have been a um um Denzel Washington or anything like that. You know, right. and exactly. and man, he just so iconic. I mean, as far as like the movies I got, I did like a little tribute on my little Instagram page. Um, you know, the Uptown Saturday Nights, the Let's Do It Again, and the yeah. piece of that that trilogy. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that 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 was like comedy gold. You know, I I know people ain't. Giving Cosby a good line of respect, but man, y'all need to go back and check those. That's man, that's yeah. comedy right there. That's that's that's, that's classic. Oh, yeah. fucking the preacher, or better than Harry Belafonte. That's my yeah. shit right there. Yeah. Yo, bucking the preach. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my shit. Yeah, so but, uh, was that all of them? Uh, I know it was Jesse D, Max Julian, Sydney Poitier. That's all I had. Did I forget anybody? Yeah, in the past? I think that's I think that's it for this. I mean, as far as like uh, famous people, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The Max, the Max Julian doing the Mac. You know, I I think I got that movie somewhere. But the you know, and how influential that was because really, right. man, uh, you know. Public Enemy, Dr. Dre, like that type of, you know, brother's gonna work it. Up, you know, brother's gonna work it. Up. That was from that movie. Um, yeah, yeah. You know that part where they're sitting on the bench and like, hey man, you know, we get rid of this pimp and play and stuff, and all this stuff will go away. You know, so and that was just, yeah, all that stuff was just instrumental in like building like, um, you know, hip hop. The way it, way it is, so that was very influential for yeah, all, for that type of stuff. Man. Yeah, most definitely, man. So, um, and then, uh, you know, we had a couple of people who got stricken with COVID. Yeah, um, DJ K Slay, and also DJ Cool V. So, just want to send our thoughts and prayers out to all yeah, of them. Um, definitely, pay that respect. So, matter of fact, let's go ahead and give uh, the. The people who passed on, let's give them a moment of silence real quick. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, as far as the uh, um, question of the day, I don't know if you had anything, but... Uh, I did hear something kind of interesting. Okay. Jim Jones said he thinks the only person who can go up against Jay-Z is Drake. So I wonder if anybody got some thoughts on that. The <laughs> only person? He said the only person. The only person? The only person. I was like, uh... I, I, disagree. With, I disagree with that. Yeah. I totally I disagree with that. that. I would rather see Wayne before I see Drake go up against him. Yeah, I mean, Drake can go up against him. 
I think he he could go up against him. I'm not saying he can't, but him being the only one, no. Right. right. Now they're quite. There's only like a handful, yeah. But the only one, nah, nah. Right. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. I don't know where he got that from. Nah. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was funny, but everybody been, you know, talking about it since he said he like, he tonguing down his mama too much. That's what it is. <laughs> exactly. You heard about that shit, right? A little bit. I didn't hear the whole yeah, story. Yeah, talking about I mean, I don't it what for what I understand, like his mom's I mean, I'm assuming this when she was you know, they were much younger. Yeah. Right. He wanted That's to right. know about yeah, getting, you know, a tongue kiss and whatnot. And he's like, well, shit, the only best one to show, you know, the moms. I'm like, nah, I'm sorry. I ain't, you know, I love my moms. I ain't slobbing down my moms like that. That's I just, hell that. no. No, sir. Not oh. doing it. Not at all. I can't even, I can't even fathom that one. That, that's so far removed from my, from my thoughts, man. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't. Yeah, I ain't about to slob down my mom's, you. This is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me uh, let me jump into some birthdays real quick. Um, yeah, fact. Uh, happy birthday goes out to my man, and rest in peace also to Tim Dog. His birthday was on January third. Tim Dog. Also on the third was Shauna, formerly uh-huh. of Disturbing the Peace. She's still one of my favorites. Uh, on January 4th, happy birthday to Drag On. All right. Uh, let's see. On today, January 8th, happy birthday goes out to Super Lover C. Uh-oh. Uh, I haven't heard from him in a minute, but uh, it's his birthday. Casanova. Yes, sir. Super. <laughs> yep, my bad. Then, Go ahead. Uh, coming up tomorrow on the 9th, we got happy birthday to Mia X. Okay. Also tomorrow is uh, Angie Martinez, and probably the best birthday of them all tomorrow. All caps, MF Doom. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. then, uh, on, uh, on the tenth, we got Ra the Rugged Man. So happy birthday to all of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and um, R. Kelly had a birthday. I know it don't count. <laughs> yeah. <they. laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm arguing with you. Nah, I mean, happy birthday to Kels. I ain't know his birthday passed. Um, yeah, I think it was either yesterday or yeah, it was just it was sad because someone posted it. And, you oh, know, okay. I, I, and uh, it only had like a hundred likes. Like, Dang. like a hundred. Yeah, I'm like, I started to like it because, like, well, you know, it is his birthday. But then I thought about that shit. I was like, nah, nigga. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not canceling his music or anything. Oh no! I, I really, you know, I ain't trying to really celebrate his birthday though. You know? Nah, nah, nah. Can't do that. Can't. Maybe, maybe he getting a nice cupcake in jail or something. You know, maybe the boy. Nah, nice he, nah, he got, he got, he got to sing for his birthday. Look, son, <laughs> we gotta make, we trying to make the mood right. Me and right. Shorty over here. That's just <laughs> that just do with the punk. Yeah, me and Shorty over here, we trying to get right, set the mood. <laughs> Sing your body um, calling it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah man. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, but I got some a uh, couple of new music joints. I don't know if you heard this. There's a funny little song out. It's called the Coronavirus Anthem. And um, they did it to one of the master TVs. Out and out it, and they be saying, "You got it, got it. You know, you Dang. got it." Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I was like, "Yo, y'all wild, B." Who does it? Like crazy for that. Who's who's the group? I don't know. I, 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 I think it was uh, Snoop Dogg that posted it, but. They didn't really focus on the name to me, so they were just playing the song. Um, and I just thought it was pretty funny. But, yeah. Uh, also, uh, K Slay dropped a new joint called In My Soul. You got Pat Boos, AZ, and my song on it. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of Pat Bruce, you know, he just dropped his December album. So, you know, he did the whole, you know, uh, join every month. And uh, he dropped a new joint called uh, Thought I Was. This one got Two Chain, Remy Ma, Buster Ron, and Lil Wayne. Wow. And uh, that joint go hard. That wow. joint go hard. Um, so I think that's it. Hold on, let me get to, to my other page here. Yeah. Uh, trying, trying to get some fresh air outside the house. So. Nah, I feel you, man. Give me one second. I want to do Yeah, do your thing. I'm going to try to find this. While you doing that, I'm going to try to find this damn uh, speaking of. All right, so. My uh, topic, though. Um, I found a couple of things I wanted to mention. I want to give a shout out to Khan. He is um, selling the rights to two of his songs so that, you know, he's selling the royalty rights as NFT. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, that's kind of dope. I don't know how much he's going to be going for, but you know, the fact that he's willing to do that, you know, he's kind of dope. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you good? Still got it. Still got it. Yeah, he still he still got. It. Don't yeah. Don't come. Don't don't go see him. All right. <laughs> he still got it. Now. The germ warfare all over here. Yeah, it's the germ. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to Nas for that. Uh, yeah, my man LL. They got a statue of him. I thought that was really good. Oh, exactly, any yeah. news? Go ahead. I was gonna say any news about him because I know he. You know, last week we reported he had the vid. I haven't heard any updates, but I I would hope that he's doing better. I'm gonna have to yeah. check on that. Man. But yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought it was to him because I hope he's uh, getting better. I know he's been drunk for two weeks, so. I'm excited about that. Yeah. This is not the time for us to do it. I might fucking run and give up hip hop. Say what now? I said I may fucking run and give up hip hop if if we lose LL right now. Nah, we can't do that. Yeah. Nah, we can't do that. But yeah, shout out to um, Nas and, you know, get well soon, LL. Um... Oh, the young dog. So they got a suspect that they um uh got a woman. It's this dude named Justin. Uh, come the rumor has it. Come to find out, this nigga was from Young Dog's camp. Yeah, and I he, heard. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear and about the name. name. Yeah, I didn't hear about the name. I heard that there was somebody that was a- around Memphis or something like that. Yeah, supposedly cause they got pictures of him and Young Dolphin. It's like, damn. It's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, according to what I saw, they got a kind of a worn out and a man for He's hiding somewhere. Um, turn himself in on. So we shall see. Yeah. Um, I know we said we were going to talk a little bit about the uh, insurrection um, from last year. We just passed the anniversary. What are your thoughts on that? Man, like I said, man, it's just. It's just crazy, man. Like, all I think, like, my thing of it is, I just think, well, I'll, I'll say this. Um, them not, the people that are not handling that situation and not taking it serious, considering right. all what they did, and not prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law, um, mm-hmm. They're making it really difficult for those workers, those civil, those civil uh, 
workers that were there to actually work there. So really, I think this is going to uh, – like what we've seen is the um, – yeah, shit, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're seeing the dismantling of white supremacy. Oh, yeah. I think, oh, yeah. I, think what we're, I think we're seeing the first steps of it because if people at the Capitol are not, you know what I'm saying, I'm not saying they should be executed or nothing like that, but they definitely should, um, you know what I'm saying, as far as what they did, like I don't care what nobody's saying. Like people... Yeah, black people, like in Black Lives Matter and stuff, they ride and whatever. Yeah, they did that. But we didn't take our own shit and write on the walls and stuff like that. We ain't, you know, we don't do shit like that. Not at all. We don't do shit like that. So, nope. yeah, so you got that. You got, a, you know what I'm saying? You got bio, you know, fecal matter and all that stuff. And, you know, and the, the thing about it, the same way that these people criticize is, you know, the Mexicans coming over the border, climbing up, they did the same thing. So to me, like I said, man, like, and then they still didn't really, they really kind of still got off light. Even the whole shaman guy. Like yeah. I mean, yeah, he doing his time, but he's like, oh, I need, I need this, and I need to be catered to, like, nah, son. But yeah, I, I think, I think we're seeing the dismantlement of white supremacy. I mean, yeah, they, they got that nigga organic food, all types of special shit. Nah, uh, just to make sure he was coming. Is that? Nah, they don't give. Hey, let me tell you, they don't give a fuck if you Muslim in prison. You gonna eat that swine if you're hungry enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> I don't exactly. eat the swine, beloved. Nah, nigga, eat that damn swine. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but yeah, I think it's um, you know, it's still funny because there's still a lot of people in denial about that, um, saying that. You know, uh, black lives matter. Trump supporters. Trump supporters. Trump supporters. Trump supporters. You really still believe in this? Oh, that just, you know? I mean, it's really sad. I, it's really sad to me because I, we all, me included, when I say this, we've all come to a point where we don't really take responsi take responsibility for our own actions. This is what this is. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I fucked up, I'm going to tell you I fucked up. I mean, yeah, there might be some shit where I have this, you know, I'm going to explain it. You know, I'm going to defend me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. But as far as, like, you know what? All right. All right. Yeah, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It gets to the point like, okay, yeah. And we just got to move on from it. You know what I'm saying? All right. We... We did. I did this. What can we do to fix it? And I, right. I, we don't. We don't have any of that on any side. Black, white, Republican, Democrat. We don't have any of that. We don't have any of that nowadays. And right. we, we, we just need. We need to just have people. You know, the people come in and set accountability. I mean, we could we could change things. I ain't gonna say overnight, but things would be turned around, and you know, but people are not people don't be held accountable for nothing. Yep, exactly. But yeah, um, you know, I don't really have any in celebrating that day because you know they're trying to make it just make it to another. Like, for me, I don't really feel like no. Nah. So I'm not, I'm not really big on that. And uh, I apologize for my situation. Oh, you good? You uh? Damn. You uh? Yeah. You kind of going in and out and you uh? Damn. Like are you in a back? Like the the audio is kind of going in and out a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's clear. You're clear now. If you keep it right there, that's good. 
Okay, maybe I need to stay a little closer. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, but yeah, I was just saying, you know, I don't really care to celebrate it like it's a holiday or something like that. Oh, hell no. R2G2. R2G2 in the hell. Yes, sir. Kind of got some shit in the uh, yeah. You know, uh, I'm sitting in my car, out back at his uh, yeah. doing things. But we about to wrap it. We go to the big one. Talk about uh, your mom. Uh, we got all the real black people life in prison. Facts. All the guys, you know, possibility of uh, the same guy, the same thing. So, um, another guy video. He got life, but he so you know he didn't get out about two years, I think. So you know he does. Uh, but um, I mean, I think he should have got. Oh, so, but uh, it is. Yeah, you think about that. Me, man, like I said, I'm just happy for um, – I'm happy for his spirit. At least he can kind of rest in peace. Um, really, there's not – I mean, it seems – it's justice, but it's like, you know, at the same time, it's like he can't get his life back. Right. You know, because of that incident. And, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I – you know, I feel for his family. I'm glad that their family got like, you know, that chapter closed. I mean, it's a painful chapter, but they got it closed. Um, yeah. Yeah. If that dude gets out, the uh, guy with the camera, I hope somebody be out there just to, just to whoop his ass. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> right. Be waiting on him. Just waiting on his Like, take a video. Nigga. Like, take vi Yo, yo, son. Record this, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Record his next piece of biscuit. Yep, yep. Get that speed nut. <laughs> yeah. Stop box rock. Get your stop. Get your stop. TV turned off. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, I'm glad that that came out like that. I was thinking that kind of long, easy sentence. So. Or some shit like that. Yeah. So I'm glad they uh glad they got heavy sentences. And um the judge was one of them, he let me know. He was one of them good people. He was like, uh -huh. that man went out to God and he didn't even get to come home, so sorry. Fight. No parole. Fight. So shit. Nah, that's hey. Cause that's what I'm saying, man. They didn't they didn't have. They didn't have to do that. Even, even if, even if that guy he was in the wrong. That that's the thing that kills me about these killings like that. And like, you know, white people be like, "Well, what did he do? He should have obeyed the law." Yeah, I get that. People, you know, what I'm saying, like, if I rob a store, if I, you know, what I'm saying, if I do something like a like a small crime. It shouldn't be met with death. That's all we're saying. We're not saying that the person should be punished. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying he should get, you know what I'm saying, a slap on a wrist. But he shouldn't be met with death. Yeah. I you know agree. what I'm saying? That's just ridiculous. Completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Hell, I mean, he didn't even. You know, like you said, he shouldn't have to die. I mean, not the war, even if not the war, there, yeah. even if you call him stealing some money, that don't mean you gotta shoot them. No. I mean, if it was, you know what I'm saying? Now, if he was threatening lives or something like that, yeah, I get that. You know what I'm saying? But he, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just, yeah, y'all just, y'all just warned me. So that's what that was. Yeah, so. But um, but anyway, man. Um, yeah, I just you know I feel good. And I 
and uh, the heat compressor. And uh, you can see that these guys. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm, yeah. Is it still of, going in and out? Yeah, you're still kind of going in and out. My bad, my bad. I don't know what it is, man. This yeah. Damn Instagram. This shit is Jake, man. Yeah, damn Zucky. <laughs> Zucky. Yeah. But um, I think that's all. Nah, I think that's it, man. Um, yeah, so we can wrap it up. Yeah, we we'll put another one in the books, 190. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um Hopefully, in a few more weeks, we'll be back to, like, you know, regular schedule. We appreciate y'all, uh, you know, bearing in with us. It's just, you know, we're working with limited stuff right now. But we'll, you know, once we get back, we'll return bigger and stronger. So, we appreciate it and uh, keep with us. All right, man. Well, I guess we can talk about this episode 193. One night. And, uh, I'm sure we'll have like a lyrical breakdown. And uh, we will next week. Maybe we do the show. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Y'all just keep my family prepared. Yeah. I definitely uh, need that, man. I appreciate all the support you've been giving out. I really wanted to do it with you. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Well, we're going to wrap it up for 190. Try Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy, Howie, my man. First dog, what's up? All right. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.